In this video, I'll present an exponential decay problem and discuss the steps required to solve it. This problem deals with the value of a car, which in general decays or decreases as time passes. Let's say that the rate at which the value of a car is decreasing is 11%, and that is what it decreases by each year. Today, the car is worth $20,000, and the question is, how much will it be worth in three and a half years? To solve this problem, we'll use the exponential growth and decay formula, which you can see on the screen now. It is read aloud, A of T equals A sub zero times E to the power of R times T. Before I use this formula to solve the problem, I wanna briefly discuss the parts of this equation. A sub zero stands for the initial amount, the starting amount. In this case, it will be what the car is worth uh, to start with. E is not a variable. E is, e is a number, E is a constant. It's known as Euler's number. It is approximately 2.71828, but this is an, like pi, this is an irrational number that never terminates or repeats. R is the rate of growth or decay. It's a percent rate of growth or decay that will be written as a decimal, a percent written as a decimal. And if in the situation something is growing in value, this will be a positive number. It will be greater than zero. It will be represented as a negative number if the initial amount is going down in value, as is the case in this problem. T is time, the amount of time that passes. Now the first step in solving this problem will be to identify each part that I just described for this problem. The initial amount, A sub zero, is the starting amount, what the car is worth to begin with. It is given in this problem that the car has a starting value of $20,000, so A sub zero is 20,000. R, the rate of growth or decay, is given in the problem as 11%. Now because it's going down in value, I'm going to represent this with a negative number. I'm not going to write negative 11. I'll represent this percent as a decimal Moving the decimal place in 11% two units to the left gives me 0.11. The rate of this problem, because it's going down in value, is negative 0.11. The time that is passing in this problem is three and a half years. We can represent that as three and a half or as a decimal 3.5. Now, I'll substitute each of these three values into the equation for a sub zero, 20,000, for the rate, negative 11%, negative 0.11, and for time, 3.5. This becomes a calculator exercise. We'll, we'll, it, using a calculator, we'll take 20,000 times e to the power of negative 0.11 times 3.5, and that will give us a result of about $13,609 and one cent, if we round it off to the nearest two decimal places to represent dollars and cents. If a car is worth $20,000 and decreasing at a rate of 11%, after three and a half years, its value will be about $13,609 and one cent.